My name is Tony Zork and I'm the CEO of Accounting Seed. I've been working on IT integrations for 25 years now. As more companies are moving to the cloud, they're not understanding what IT is really costing them. And this video attempts to demystify that. There's two major trends in the IT market that have been consistent over the past 10 years. The first one is that software needs keep growing. We're still finding uses for new types of software in all areas of the business. We're even buying software to manage software and it's seeming to make sense and work for people. The second is that software as a service or SaaS or internet deployed software is absolutely the model for all market segments, small business, mid-sized enterprise companies as well. In summary, the true cost of IT in the cloud is made up of four things. It's your hardware, your software subscriptions, your software integrations, as well as the labor to manage your applications. So let's explore this a little bit more deeply. The first one is hardware. That's a simple one to identify. That is your computers, your laptop, probably still have a router system if your office is bigger than 10 to 15 employees, monitors, those type of things, it's clear cut. Number two, so software subscriptions are sold typically per user or on a metered model. And those are, again, very easy to identify, very easy to quantify. That's simply the number of users you have and the annual subscription or monthly subscription you're paying for those licenses. The third is software integrations. Applications have to share data in the business space, especially in the business management space where you're having sales and service and accounting, those type of applications, they're working off a common data tables. So software integrations are the cost of all these apps that you've purchased talking to each other. So software integration at this point would be the cost of a setup, getting a developer to program API calls to move that data back and forth and or middleware that you may license as a subscription to set up and get these apps talking to each other as well. Number four, labor. Finally, we get to the problem with the IT department and what's hidden. This is the problem area of running IT in the cloud is what is the true labor cost around managing your IT operations? So labor breaks into four different areas itself. So let's cover those areas in more depth. Number one, software administration. You can have a great application, but if the administration of it is pretty time consuming, that needs to be taken into account in your IT operation. So administration is the setup of users. It's the deployment of different features to those users. It may be configuration. Uh, there could be customization involved. That would all fall under software administration. Number two is software integration maintenance. This is where you have a pre-established software integration that you need to maintain. Anytime you do a configuration in one system that's integrated to another, it's often that those integrations will break and those need to be maintained. You can spend hours and hours trying to figure that out. It can be a really big problem for companies and extremely time consuming. Number three is manual integration. This is when you don't have an integration set up between two systems and you do need them to share data. This happens all the time, especially as the proliferation of apps keeps growing. You'd be surprised how many companies are manually updating one system from another on a monthly or even a quarterly basis. It's a ton of work to do manual integration. It's not a long-term solution, but it is a big cost that companies are enduring right now. The fourth is data reconciliation, and this is often the most painful and again big time drain for companies that goes undocumented uncharted data reconciliation is when an integration breaks or is unreliable and you have to reconcile the data from one system to another so there's no other way to do this other than run a report out of one system and compare it to the results of another system you can write code to do this but then you're kind of writing code to maintain more code and it gets to be a mess so there's no easy way just what comes when you have a lot of fragmented apps and they need to share a a lot of data. Data reconciliation is a big problem. So what can you do to better manage your IT costs in your organization? There's five things that you can do. Number one, you can eliminate integrations altogether. You can run multiple applications on a single platform like salesforce.com. You can consolidate your sales, your service, your operations, and your accounting all on a single platform. Since there are no integrations between those applications, all this labor goes away. Number two is to identify and document integrations if they're unavoidable. The more you can understand what integrations you have, have and document the use of them, the better off you're gonna be. Number three, keep current with your apps. Read the release notes, stay up on the changes, test those integrations. Most software companies will allow for a testing time before they deploy a new release to you. That's a good time to get in there, test the integration, make sure it's working with the new changes in that software. 
Number four, track your time. A lot of companies don't want to track time internally. They don't think it's important. It's critical. Peter Drucker says to know thy time. It's still relevant today as it was in 1960 when he first set it. You should understand how much time you're putting towards these integrations and maintaining them. That's key to knowing how much your IT is really costing you. Number five is audit your data regularly. Most companies don't take advantage of this tactic because there is an investment for you to do this. It's some upfront work, but it's like going to the doctor and getting that physical ahead of time to see if there's any problems. It's a great practice, and if you're regularly auditing your data, problems are gonna flush out ahead of time. You can put them on your schedule to fix, and you're gonna be in a much better situation. Thanks for watching this video on the true cost of IT in the cloud. Please subscribe to Accounting Seed to grow your knowledge on business technology in the back office.